So the first step of installing your tower rack system is going to be removing all of the handles and feet that are already attached to your Mac Pro tower. You're gonna be using the specialized Allen wrenches that we've supplied with you along with the handle extender. Note that the usable end is the ball head end of these Allen wrenches. So you wanna make sure that you're inserting the flat tip into your handle extender. For the initial turn of each of these screws that connect the handle or the foot to the posts of the tower, you're gonna to wanna to insert the L bracket Allen wrench. Keep in mind when you're unscrewing righty tighty, lefty loosey, from the perspective of the screw head, the screws all extend out away from the center of the towers. So in this case, I've entered and inserted the Allen wrench and I'm gonna be pushing away from me to go lefty loosey. And you kind of get, need to be a little mean with this because of the Loctite. So if you hear a snap or a pop, don't be alarmed. That's actually just the Loctite seal breaking. You get a couple of turns with this to get it loosened. We recommend switching over to the straight Allen wrench in order to quickly spin the rest of the screw all the way out. Three or four full rotations should get you all the way out. And then we recommend staying in the same position and just moving your Mac tower and rotating it The process for removing the feet from your Mac Pro tower is the exact same as for the handles. So the only call out in this situation is to make sure you keep a steady grip on the foot as they're oddly weighted and will have a tendency to fall uh, in an unexpected fashion off your table if you're not securing it. So using the L, grab it, righty tighty lefty loosey, hear that pop. You'll be able to get a couple of good rotations on this. Now, depending on which foot, you may have more success with the straight Allen wrench versus the L, but just do what's intuitive and what feels good, and that's going to be your best guide. Now, as you unscrew, there are locking pins in the bottom of these feet that need to clear their holes. And once they clear their, their holes, you'll actually be able to hand unscrew them the rest of the way. Make sure you've got a good grip on them so they don't fall oddly and the foot's out. And now you're ready to install the innovative hardware. You'll note that there are height differences between the two sliders. The ones for top foot are taller than the bottom feet. Similar to the Apple hardware, the Tower Rack System feet have indexing pins that will help guide and lock the piece into place. In this situation, you use the Allen wrench more as a brace, and you can actually hand tighten most of the way, probably about 80%. You'll feel the indexing pins start to rub up against the material, and once that happens, you can actually feel the pins settle into place and then you can use the Allen wrench to complete the tightening process. So the next step is actually installing slide racks to your enclosure. Note that the slide racks are adjustable in length to suit your needs. And please be sure to note that the button lever side is going to be installed on the left-hand side of your workstation. Once you've selected the positioning of your tower rack system, note that the slide racks wrap around the exterior of the enclosure. The button lever is on the left-hand side and that we've installed the screws on the outermost and innermost holes, making sure that they are loose to give us a little give so that when we actually install the uh, Mac tower, uh, it provides enough looseness for it to settle in correctly. The next step is installing the Mac tower and just make sure that the feet align with the slide rack and put into place. We've reached the final step of our installation process by installing the cover plates with our thumb screws. Once secured, 
we can finish tightening down the screws for the slide racks. And now your tower rack system is complete.